Hello athletes, welcome to our push-up challenge for the month of July. What we want to start off with is just a quick overview of the push-up, scaling options, and a general warm-up for you to use before going into the daily push-up workouts. So for our warm-up, it's going to start off with some cat-cows. We're going to get down on all fours and moving with your own breath at your own pace. Arch the back up, tuck the tailbone in, pointing the tailbone towards the hands, dropping the head, and then arch the back, lifting the tailbone, lifting your head, moving through at your own pace. It's not a race, and you're going for eight of those. While staying on hands and knees, you can thread the needle, walking one hand out far, taking the other hand, shooting it through as far as it'll go, dropping low, reaching out even farther, crawling both fingers out, hanging out for a moment or two, then switching sides. Three times, left and right. Then we're gonna take our plank position and go into scapular pull-ups. Arms stay straight, stacked underneath the shoulders, just dropping the chest, pushing the back through the scapula, Nice flat position, glutes tight, belly tight, 10 of those. And you'll go through that cycle two times. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to add into your own warm up or that feels good for you, or if you need to manage your time better, your choices are up to you. But that's a good general warm up to prepare the shoulders for the push up. So let's talk about a perfect push up, what we're looking for. Coming back up to the wall really quick so you can see it. Let's talk about arm position. Stacking the hands underneath the shoulders, so not really far out, not too close most of the time. Arms at about a 45 degree angle, so we're not stuck here and we're not winging the arms out. When we do a push up, our body moves as a single unit, nothing gets left behind. I'm going to use the stick as a reference. Coming down, chest touches the ground, thighs are still lifted, belly tight, butt tight, pushing up as a single unit. Okay. So I'm not leaving my knees behind, I'm not arching my uh, backside up to help out. Some options for scaling to make movement doable. We come to our knees. And again, that straight line is still in evidence from my shoulder through my hips to my knees. Keeping that straight line. I can scale further by coming up to a chair, sofa, box, sturdy table. This changes the angle, but again, belly tight, butt tight, moving as a single unit. And finally, coming up, I come to a wall and lean into the wall. And I can adjust how much lean I get, doing my presses, taking my nose to the wall. Okay. So that's just some general ideas of doing the perfect push-up and scaling your general push-up. See you on the workouts.